Welcome back again to Digimon World 3, where we are taking on the AOA in Amaterasu City. We are currently in the admin center of Amaterasu City, in Amaterasu server. We've fought a good number of soldiers, and there's always more. And they all... They all fall the same way, and they all have the same, same Digimon. And we always use the same exact attack on every single one. Are you kidding me? Another ultra charge. Those are... Those are cheap. We have like 30 of those. Or, I don't know. We bought like 20 of them. This is just like when we fought a bunch of AOA at the Nasca City or in Oska server. It was just guard after guard and it felt it felt lazy and and uncreative as far as uh, area designs go. And this one feels the same. Another thing that I, I mean, I didn't really originally intend talking after the previous episode. I talked a lot about things other than the game because I wanted to try to actually talk about something more interesting because what's happening right now is not very interesting. I talked about possibly streaming on YouTube or Twitch rather than uploading videos, and I talked about playing v around with VCV Rack, Modular Synth. Another thing that I've been, was doing a lot before, I wasn't in, originally intending for this channel to be just like, you know, pick a game and play through it from start to finish. I was more intending for it to be just like playing whatever I'm uh, currently playing. Um, and a variety of stuff because I was playing a variety of stuff but it just kind of worked out okay there we blasted um we started blasting unfortunately we did not get more MP they really hate the idea of us recovering MP um so one of those things I mean, I've, I've actually got a few videos playing uh, Synthetic 2 and uh, RoboQuest. But my uh, group of co-op gaming partners has been busy with more important things. And so I haven't really put out many videos like that. Um, and I just kind of got sucked into like, oh, I need to record a video. The easiest thing to do is to just play the game that I've already been playing because I know I want to beat it, uh, you know, or play it until I'm done with it. But I've been doing, I also was doing a, a lot of VR stuff. And I have a rather sad, sad tale to tell about VR, about my VR situation. So I, I um, have a pretty decent rig, and I, I, I like to play flight simulators. Um, I was playing Microsoft Flight Simulator, and I guess there, there's going to be a new one out this year, so that, that could be cool. I like to use a program called NeoFly that kind of simulates you having your own, your own, you know, it's like a career mode for Flight Simulator, basically. That's kind of fun. Earning money and giving you a reason to do flights. Um, 
going back to heal, get MP. This is just... <sighs> the fact that I even have to do this, it's just so... This is just silly. Um, another game that I like to play is... Um, oh yeah, and I play Flight Sim in VR. I have a... I have all the all the peripherals and stuff one could want, um, and I play in VR, and another VR flight sim I play is uh, DCS. I was trying to... I was in the middle before I started this channel. I was learning the Tomcat, F14 Tomcat. Um, so that's fun. Uh, so, you know, it's really cool. You can actually sit in the cockpit and learn all these systems. Um, but what's sad is um, what's hap- I, I have an HP Reverb G2. That's the headset that I have. I think we already went out here. And uh, Microsoft decided, hey, you know what? Oh, and, and rather than like, uh, you know, HD, the original HTC Vive or a Valve Index headset, which just goes through Steam VR. Uh, this headset is a, it's uh, called Windows MR, I, I think, Windows Mixed Reality headset, and uh, you know you can get into Steam VR through Windows Mixed Reality, but Microsoft basically <sighs> is going to turn my headset into a paperweight because they're dropping support for Windows Mixed Reality um, on Windows 10. Um, I think this year they may already have. I, I can't remember what, what the date is on that. So once that happens, I can't, I can't do it anymore. Um, I can't use that headset for VR anymore until somebody comes up with some alternative, like an open source solution. Um, and upgrading to Windows 11 isn't going to fix the issue either because it's already, I think it's not supported in Windows 11. So that's the situation. I just can't play VR until somebody fixes it. Uh, you know, that's a really, really cruddy thing to do. Um, I already didn't like Microsoft and I already didn't like Windows, but I begrudgingly used it because it's just what you do if you play flight sims. <laughs> um, as far as I understood it. But let's take a break from uh, complaining about VR. For this delightful cutscene. This is weird. There's no one here. I see. It's the same as Asuka's Game Master room. It's a secret door. Then what's the code? Asuka was monster, so maybe it's digital here? It opened by itself. Why? Maybe it wants me to come in? Alright then. I'm coming in, whoever you are. We've been waiting. You defeated our chiefs. Come on, I'll take you on. We are stronger than any than the anything you've faced yet. Another typo. With the pride of the royal guard, I'll defeat you. Guess we'll see about that.
Uh, unfortunate that we are physical based because I'm guessing Nightmon is rather armored. But we've got plenty of healing items. So there's no way we're losing this. Doesn't seem good. Only five hundred thirty XP. Truly pathetic. Even this far into the game. They said they were the Royal Guard. Then the guy at the top is up ahead. They are so useless. But I'm rather impressed by your strength. Are you the president of Megami? President? Oh, yes. But you can call me Chief Officer. It sounds cooler. Stop getting around. Terminate Destromon right now. Hey, chill out. Why don't you join us? If you say yes, I'll make you no, no too after me. No way. You use Digimon for evil. You steal men's souls. Even if I'm destroyed, I'll never be one of you. You just blew your chance. You really are a stupid boy. By the way, it's already too late to change your mind. Metal Seedramon. Oh, first attack. Well, time to heal. And pray we don't run out of MP. Oh, that did a lot. It's so funny how we just kind of bounce on the ground. Just, it looks really stupid. Like we fall backwards, sure, but like we just bounce. Like we're a bouncy ball every time we take damage. Wow, that's a cool one. That attack was not particularly cool. Darkness chaos. Raidenmon. A weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Yeah, the, when the game is panning around like that, uh, during battles, it starts to get very framey and it starts to kind of um, drop inputs or just lag when I'm trying to use the menu. Really not a good time. So much for riding, Mon. It has MG. <laughs> it has MG on its shoulders. Come on. That's gotta be a Metal Gear reference. Wow, 2.5k XP is nothing to, uh, nothing to complain about. Hey, wait, I'll turn myself in. You're really strong. I wonder who would win, you or him. What? What? 
President of Megami, I'm putting you under arrest. Hey everyone. Just give yourself up. We got every one of the AOA except you. Alright, I think I've had enough. Next time, I'll play for myself. Oh, he's rather obedient. But there's one more thing. Destromon? You can stop it with that machine. Okay then, I'll interrogate him. And you guys go stop Destromon. He's just like, going with us. Destromon's gonna land on a city. Yes, sir. Teddy, you know how? Heh <laughs> well, most of it. The system is the same as Asuka server's computer. Teddy, let's talk, more work. Hold your horses. Come on, please be in time. Another epic cutscene. Pretty much all this game has going for it at this point. Yeah, we did it, Junior! Destromon stopped and broke down. We won against the AOA. Yeah, we did it, Teddy! Hey, everything went great, you two. I have to go tell this to the others. Man, I'm beat. Today just sucked. Really? I had fun. Hey, let's go to the login room. I'm sure everyone in the Matrix Chamber are back to normal. Yeah, let's go back to the real world. Huh? What? They're still not back to normal. Junior, the chamber's not working either. Hey, Junior. Teddy. Kale. Why won't Kurt turn back to normal? We defeated the AOA, right? Is Kurt and everyone going to stay this way? Oink oink. N no, I'm sure there's a way to turn them back. Right, Junior? Y yeah I'm sure. You guys wait here. I'll go look into it. And what does that mean? Well, first we heal. Can we access the black market now? No. 
can't even remember how we did it last time. The Matrix system isn't moving. I wonder why. Has the jamming program that Kurt made not been deleted? We can't access the real world. I wonder why. The Matrix chamber isn't moving either. What's going on? I think we were su <laughs> it's weird because I thought uh, I thought Lisa and Nick are supposed to basically tell us where we go next. <laughs> I thought that they would tell us that we need to go to Qinglong City next <laughs> uh i don't know maybe that is really where we need to go but i'm just surprised i feel like i must have missed talking to somebody wow i don't even know where the login room is Can we go back and talk to uh, someone? Well, <laughs> well, we can't go back there. Ugh. here. Oh, they're in prison now. Nice little touch. Never know if we didn't go there to check it out. Well, I don't know. Here's a login room. I guess just making sure that there's not some sort of cutscene I'm supposed to trigger. Not cutscene, but like flag that I'm supposed to set by talking to one of them. I really did think that these people would tell us something, but well... I guess not. Um, well, I guess we go to Qinglong City, which is where? It's that one. We could struggle our way through the circuit board to get there, or we could just take the direct route through the wire forest and all that. Getting some XP as we go. How much JP does Kodemon have? 25. 
to... Okay, so we could do a few trainings next time we get to a, a gym. Just using Blade Twister to make this all go much faster. Ugh. So yeah, I need to figure out what I'm going to do about VR. Because <laughs> I really do like those games, and I especially like playing them in VR. And I was even planning to do some videos of that because, I mean, that's what I was doing. I was actually planning to kind of do a mix of playing through a single player game and then just kind of playing different missions or training in uh, DCS. Um, but I pretty much only want to do that if, if I can do it in VR. Um, it's really just so, so much better. At least for me, I'm not sure how it comes across in video, um, depending on how you set it up, it could be, you know, you need to figure out what you're going to do to prevent it from being sickening to look at. It just really sucks, you know, I, it was one of the best headsets, um, as far as people playing, um, flight sims were, were saying uh, and I got a lot of use out of it and it just is so so crummy that Microsoft can just come along and say no it doesn't work anymore and um, we're not going to give you any alternative way to make it work no open sourcing of anything nothing just sorry and I haven't checked in a couple months but so far there's no solutions figured out and People are skeptical of how long that's gonna gonna take. Yes, please rest. And that is basically what solidified in my mind something that is I've I've been planning. I've always been thinking about it for for a very long time, um, which is to stop stop using Windows. Um, I'm really sick of. I hate. I already hate Windows. Um, I've just, you know, it's just been the OS of choice for somebody who plays games. Um, you know, I, I know everything that I want to play is going to work on it. And uh, the exception to that is flight simulators. Um, playing in in VR, at least so, some of them don't. I don't know. It's been a while since I've checked. Um, there is a tool called Proton that lets you, it's like a compatibility layer now. And more and more games every day are compatible with Proton or they run, they run well, almost perfectly even. I found the machine to change everyone back, but there's very little energy. What are we gonna do? So this is what confused me because Nick didn't say anything that, about coming here, but the walkthrough I'm reading did say that he he hinted that he was coming here. <laughs> so, but he didn't when we talked to him at the bridge. We create energy here by windmills. If there's a strong wind, I think it'll work. Well, remember there was a sleeping Erdramon in here. Not, not there. Um, not here in Amaterasu server. So we want to get to the Kicking Forest. Or we want to get to the Asuka server. Uh, um, city, Seryu City. Which means using a hole in Kicking Forest is, I guess, our best option. Useless. 
So yeah, I've, I've, my philosophy is finally like, I could go on and on about why I hate Microsoft and why I hate Windows. Um, it even just really obnoxious stuff like, there on Windows 10 they would just there was something that was just basically built into Windows that was downloading stuff from the Windows store without you even knowing about it. Like, you would go to this folder and you'd see it had downloaded all these stupid games um, without your consent. And... That was... It was taking up a lot of space, and I would go to try to delete it, and then it would just download them again. I never, never used the Windows Store. So this was not a user issue. We're in East Kicking Forest. Or Wire Forest. Oh, Kicking Forest is the other direction. My bad. Too many forests, too many mountains. They all run together. That was just one of many, many things. Um, and like, how how many people upgraded to Windows 11 and noticed that there was like, w they were getting worse performance. Like all this, all this stuff that was just bogging it down and just don't really want, I just don't really want to support Microsoft and don't want to, I don't want to incentivize Microsoft or Windows. I want to I want to get away from all that. So planning to move to Linux. Um, and my philosophy as far as games not being supported on Linux is, you know what? There are so, so many games out there. I guess we can go here, <laughs> even though it doesn't look like it's passable. There's so many games out there, many of which do run on Linux, and and you know what? If it doesn't run on Linux, I guess I don't want to play it. Um, we'll see. We'll see how that stands up <laughs> over time, because I do know that Windows is kind of the operating system for flight simming, so that's the one thing I might have to really come to terms with. Just looking for a hole that we can enter. There's one. And just have to accept that if I'm going to make this choice, I'm, there's some games that I'm just not going to be able to play. Um, and it just feels very good to know that I won't have to deal with Windows anymore. Um, just every single version of Windows I've just had annoyances and problems with, and I know my way around computers, so Linux is no problem for me. I guess this is not the way to get to that bowl. And it's so much more customizable and flexible and it's open. So that's the plan. Every every time Microsoft is pushing and pushing <laughs> Windows 11 in front of me, I'm more eagerly anticipating making the switch. How do we get up there? to where that hole is, or maybe maybe it was passable terrain and it just didn't seem like it. I'm really having a hard time finding my way around this area. See, there's stuff up here, but it's like, it's elevated. Maybe I need to... I don't know. Oh. That's annoying. Is there a way to get up there? Over here? Doesn't 
seem like it. I must be really, really forgetting something about how this area works. Maybe that's a hole that is an exit only hole. Yeah, I think this is the one that we can actually enter. We'll see where this takes us. I really, my, I'm just like, I have all these things flashing through my head of like, why, why I hate Windows and Microsoft and I'm just not going to try to explain myself more than that. It's just what I'm thinking about because this game is not giving me anything to think about really. I suppose I should look up where I'm supposed to go in here. So we were in the AM Kicking Forest. This is really not how this map was written is pretty much the worst way you could have done it. They, they, they put up images. It's not like search, so you can't search. For the area you're looking for. Okay, we want AS kicking for us, so we go up, right, okay. We want to go here. So I just have to keep scrolling up and down through this image in order to find where I'm looking for. Can't, can't just search for it. Uh, we want to go down. Still surprised how little damage we do to everybody. Oh no. This again. So funny. So glad that happens to us. Really great thinking on their part. It's really funny the tenth time that happens. So yes, not going to uh, keep going on about Windows and Microsoft, but uh, I think there's a lot lot a lot of good reasons some personal reasons i just feel right about i just feel bad about supporting microsoft like they're able to do this because here we are in the kicking forest right where we wanted to be i feel bad about supporting them because you know people are not are not uh reacting to their the crap that they're pulling and so they're going to keep doing it, and they're going to keep pushing and pushing and getting as much as they can out of taking advantage of people as much as they can until people start fighting back. And I'm really excited to switch to Linux, and there's a lot of really cool stuff that you get with that. Um, so... Of course, you know, in the back of my mind, I'm going like, ah... You know, I'll be back after I after the novelty wears off and I run into some specific app that I'm like, oh, this is Windows only and I, I need this app. Maybe I'll end up dual booting uh, just for a couple things, but I would like to avoid that. I don't want to have to keep maintaining a Windows install. Here's our good friend, Herdramon. Still asleep? Oh, no. Hey, Herdramon, I've got a favor to ask. Zzz. Herdramon, can you go to Qinglong City and blow some wind? We don't have enough power to turn everyone back from Oinkmon. Herdramon, help them. Come on, wake up. But I guess that's not possible. 
Okay, I'll find some other way. Hey, he's gone. Let's go. This is really starting to be like a point-and-click adventure game. <laughs> Having all that, that classic, terrible adventure game logic. People learned to hate. Now with the Steam Deck being out and popular, and I do have one of those, um, more and more games are supporting Linux. I think that's great. I think it really sucks when when they don't, especially because it's like an open platform. Like it's not like Windows or Mac where you have to like pay a licensing fee to have your application digitally signed. There are maintenance, there are costs associated with, I guess, making a game support Linux, but a lot of game engines, like, you should be using a game engine that, where it mostly isn't something you need to think about, like what operating system it's, it's uh, running on. The game engine should just kind of take care of that. I really do need to research more, though, what games I'll, I would have to switch over to uh, Windows 4. So, you know, like maybe one of those... I, I, I uh, don't have high hopes for kind of PC ports to support Linux. PC ports are always like the... And I do tend to play a lot of PC ports, like the Digimon games I mentioned. Um, other like Japanese console only, previously console only games. So, you know, who knows? I may have to put it off until I play those games that I've, those are games I've already decided, yes, I want to play these. And then after that, I won't have any of those games and I'll be like, oh, a new game comes along. Is it going to support Linux? No, nope. then I won't get my hopes up to play it and I'll be fine. Anyway, we finally got Erdramon to restore power. It was amazing! Erdramon came here! He spun the windmill and presto! Now if we can just get back, it will be a happy ending. Get back to what? I guess the login room in Amaterasu City. Giving me yet more time to ramble on about various topics. I think eventually, eventually I'll just get used to the idea of I don't play games that aren't on Linux and be fine and be part of the growing crowd that puts pressure on developers to support Linux and, and takes away the power that Microsoft has and that it has been abusing with Windows. And as a last resort, I can always maintain a small, like, 500 gigabyte partition that has some old version of Windows on it, I guess. Um, at least until that version of Windows becomes so old that I would have to pay to, to upgrade. Um, you know, I could upgrade it to Windows 11 at least, because that's free. And just boot into that if 
there really is something. Like, setting up a dual boot isn't super complicated. I've done it in the past. Man, those blue boxes really just suck, don't they? Why were those necessary? Like, other games managed to get by without those? Is it just because the areas in this game are a lot bigger than, like, say, Final Fantasy VII? Or was it just some poorly, tech poorly implemented, like, technical thing? So I feel like it... This came out pretty late in the PS1's life, so... Should have been pretty well understood. <laughs> this is not the login room. Should have been pretty well understood, like, how to make games work optimally. Kurt is back to normal. Thanks for everything, Junior. I'm checking the Matrix Chamber right now but there's something affecting the system from the outside. Oh. Okay, let's go back to Oscar City's master room. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that next time. I'm a little bit sick of walking around this game world for for one episode. Um, so we <laughs> we didn't really do much, honestly. As as usual, we just walked around and um, not a whole lot of interesting stuff happened. We kept spamming the same attacks. And I mean, that's the game that they designed. That's uh, that's what they wanted us to do. One wonders what they were thinking during playtesting. Like, was is this how they thought people wanted to spend their time? Maybe it was. Maybe it. Maybe we didn't have a whole lot of choices back then for uh, what counts as fun. And we learned a lot of lessons of game design from uh, mistakes like this. Not necessarily mistakes, just, uh, you know, somewhat boring segments. Um, but we'll see what the game has to offer as we get back to Oscar City and get everybody supposedly converted back to Oinkmon and uh, get towards the end of the game very soon, I think. Probably some big final, true final area that we have to make our way through uh, coming up pretty soon. So until next time, this has been Digimon World 3.